Jackie, I'm wishing John and Miriam the happiest of retirements. I wish you good health, much happiness, three beautiful weddings, many, many grandchildren, and uh, many miles of running, many hours on the beach, and whatever your heart um, wants, I wish you um, all the best in the future. Congratulations, John, and uh, he's all yours, Miriam. Good luck. Here's something about John personally that I admire. The man is a man for dates, for names, and for details. He used to recall dates from sporting events, to ball games, concerts that he had been to years ago, whatever it was. Um, and I've always admired that because he, he takes that same approach to the folks on his team. You know, there wasn't ever a time that you would tell him a name of someone who was important in your life that he forgot. He genuinely cares and remembers the people um, in your life. So he would say to me, how's Patty? How's your wife doing? How's your brother? How's the band? And, you know, I, I always appreciated that because it, it was he's such a thoughtful leader and um, he just does it in such a genuine way. Hey, John Boylan. I've known you for many, many years from when I came across from Cybertrust to Verizon and you've been nothing but top notch and a stellar HR practitioner. I wish you well on your retirement. You deserve nothing but good health, happiness, and all things wonderful. Hey, John. James here. Happy retirement. John, wishing you only the best as you embark on this new chapter for both you and your family. And this is not a goodbye, but see you soon. And maybe that soon will be on a lacrosse field. Here's something about John personally that I admire. I admire that John is such an early bird. Some of my best memories of going to the office in Basking Ridge were when we sat on the same floor and um, I would also get in early, but not nearly as early as John. And he was always there, first one in, only one in. Um, and we would catch up and, and chat and it was just such a pleasant start to my day. And John, I admire how much you'd get done uh, by 7.30 in the morning, probably more than people would do it an entire day. So I hope uh, you keep up that early bird spirit in retirement and get to enjoy the bright, beautiful mornings and hearing the birds chirp and uh, not have to worry about checking your email. The thing that I admire the most about John and truthfully that I'm gonna miss the most is that he is equally as curmudgeon as me in the room um, and uh, brings the realness to what we're battling on the HR business partner front. So I will miss you uh, dearly in the room with me, uh, both personally and professionally for that reason. One of my favorite John stories is that he was a germaphobe. Before COVID, he was a germaphobe. So we sat side by side, here we are side by side, and any time somebody would come and sit at his desk, when he wasn't here, I just chuckled. They would put their fingers on it. They would move stuff. John was so uncomfortable. Whoops. Oh no! Whoopsie. Oh, I just opened another bag.